Hey, this is Presh Showwalker. If you've ever donated to a charity with a credit card, you may have seen an option to add a certain amount to cover the credit card transaction fees so the charity gets the intended donation amount. I was thinking about this mathematically, and it's a little bit more complicated than it seems at first. So imagine you wanted to give a gift of $100 to a charity. Suppose the credit card charges 25 cents plus 3%. The fee on this gift will be 0.25 plus 3% of $100, which equals $3.25. So you might wonder, how much should they add to the original gift so that they net $100? You might think they should just take the gift and then add in the fee of $3.25. So if they charge $103.25, will the charity actually net $100? The answer is no. So let's see why. The new fees will be 25 cents plus 3% of 103.25, which equals $3.35. Subtracting that from 103.25 will lead a net amount received of $99.90. And this is 10 cents less than $100. So I know it's a small amount, but the entire purpose is to actually get the entire intended gift. So how are we supposed to do this the correct way? So let's set this up. Let's say G is the gift amount, F are the fees, and C is the charge. So the gift will be equal to the charge minus the fees. And the fees are equal to 0.25 plus 0.03 times C. So we can substitute in for F. So G is equal to C minus the quantity 0.25 plus 0.03 times C. Now we have G is equal to C multiplied by one minus 0.03 minus 0.25. So we can solve this equation for C to get that C is equal to G plus 0.25 all over one minus 0.03. You of course want to round this up to the nearest cent because when they charge the fees, they're going to round up on the fees. So let's see how this works out. The gift is equal to $100 so the amount you want to charge will be 100 plus 0.25 divided by 1 minus 0.03 and that works out to be 103 dollars and 36 cents and that's the correct amount to charge we can even generalize this let's suppose we have a fixed swipe fee of s and we need to add a percentage p so the formula would then become g plus s all over 1 minus p percent and that's the amount you should charge rounded up to the nearest cent. So even in something as simple as covering transaction fees, we lead to some interesting mathematics. But as a practical matter, many charities will just add four to 5% to cover the transaction fees. They don't wanna go through this messy calculation. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.